recording is rolling. It's Tuesday, August 23rd, and today is day two of your Geneva Drive project. Remember, yesterday, today, we got spirit schedule. You guys uh, missed some process. So, uh, do this project where you guys get to exercise your spatial skills uh, and also uh, do some teamwork. You guys have lots of labs throughout the year where, uh, including tomorrow, tomorrow, I'm going to say you guys have a lab. You guys see a, a lab set up uh, back on the table. Uh, where you might have a, a moving part, uh, you might have things that are in, interacting with each other, uh, you might have to think of three dimensions, uh, some lives kind of break up some string, um, tie parts together. Yeah, so you guys get to uh, well, uh, start practicing uh, a lot of those uh, spatial skills. Uh, well, yesterday and today uh, with this project, a uh, two day project going on here. Uh, so, um, yeah, so tomorrow, uh, I'm going to have guys roll Hot Wheels cars down the inclines and make a bunch of measurements. We're going to put some graphs and equations together. Uh, and then I'll get you guys rolling on uh, linear motion. So I will give you guys uh, this page early today. Uh, let me go over this uh, real fast to show what you're looking at. So on one side is a, uh, a, a bunch of equation type questions. Uh, there's 10 different scenarios and I'll give you different things like, oh, suppose this is going at this speed or uh, is it traveling for this amount of time? Um, like how far has a car break to uh, come to a stop or uh, like what's the height of a cliff or how fast is the ball crashing or um, lots of different scenarios. And on the other side of the same paper, uh, there are 20 conceptual questions. So I do want to, at some point in uh, the next couple of weeks, uh, throw you guys a uh, Kahoot uh, that involves all these conceptual questions, things like if you throw the ball straight up in the air, what is the velocity, what is the acceleration, uh, uh, this sort of thing. Uh, now, you guys' uh, homework assignments. Um, yeah, I don't even have all my hours passed today, so uh, I'll also show you guys that this in the future, but you guys just get a sneak preview here. Uh, oh, did you guys see uh, when you guys went to the cafeteria, they had planners, they should have had planners, right? Did you guys all pick up a planner? Uh, I hope you did, and uh, if you have a planner, then definitely make use of that. It's a really good organizational tool, uh, one of the best tips I can give you. So use that planner. Uh, use it to help plan your classes, of course. Um, remember, you know, help keep track of what homework assignments you have, really just knock them out through the boom. Uh, but uh, also, hey, maybe have interest outside of school, like I want to develop this skill or this hobby that I'm just not taking class for. Oh, we'll make a space and time for it. Uh, if you want to do something like, hey, I want to play this game, watch this TV show, and make a space and time for it. Use that planner and then uh, organize your life, do all the stuff you want to do. Okay, now, uh, solve all the linear motion problems or uh, all, all these puzzles. So, again, there's 10 scenarios here. Each of them comes with a pair of questions. That's so it's one through 20, right? Two times 10 is 20. Mm -hmm. uh, so, I'll do some of these uh, in class with you guys, and then uh, I'll leave uh, whichever ones we don't do in class. Uh, you can do this for homework. No, this won't be due for quite a while. Um, so, I've, I've got it slated here uh, next Friday. So like, yeah, so it's September 2nd, so uh, you guys got a while there. Uh, but, but I have to teach all the stuff to you guys first. Um, yeah, so do that. But today, you guys get to work with your friends and finish this Geneva Drive from yesterday. There you go. Oh, and then also, best, uh, most of you guys have already turned in this trigonometry page. But if you haven't turned that in yet, then I'm still taking that uh, today. So uh, check, make sure you turn that in. And in recording.